We're in the Durham Max right now. We're headed to go get this item. It's probably the tag picture. It's a bike. It's a it's a Suzuki 600. It's way better than my current bike. Time to upgrade. We're in debt right now, and our our back's against the wall financially. But we may as well go a little further, I guess, because at this point, it's not even our money. Ah, uh, the bulls aren't out. The weather's deterred them to go inside. This was not on my to-do list at all. I had like three or four other huge things I have to take care of that are actually important. This thing's just, you know, just a, a bike. It is something that I can kill myself on though, so this, it's fun. It's back there. And I'm hoping it stays back there because we have Seth's bike fell off the trailer. It fell the f off. Yeah, we don't have the best of luck with keeping bikes on the trailer. I'm discovering two things. One, my garage has electricity, and two, I believe this is my first Suzuki I've ever owned, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, how's it going? It's future 3D machines. Yes, the garage looks a little different uh, than it did just 10 seconds ago. This is now, and just keep in mind, with what I'm about to say, I was starstruck. And what I mean by that was my mind and my eyes weren't coherent when I was purchasing this bike, so it actually isn't the bike that I thought it was. It's a 600. I'm not even sure the model, what the model is. I saw it on Facebook and uh, I knew it was a deal and I needed a new bike. So why not snatch it up? I guess we can also go swimming later. They left the pool for me. Pool party at 3D Machines place, who's in? So the pool party was killer. The mosquitoes were a nice touch. However, this bike, like I was saying in the, you know, a few seconds ago, this is not a 600, this is a 500. And that's something I really screwed up on. I saw the listing, it said GS500, but what I saw is, I guess I got like dyslexic or something for a second, um, or my eyes just weren't working. It might have been the G that threw me off or the fact that I wanted a 600, so I only saw a 600, but yeah, it's a 500. Who told me that Dalton, it's, it says it's a 500, was Jake the Toilet Snake. He broke my dreams and had me check out the web, the, the link again, and that's where I discovered it was a 500. Got home, looked in the plastic here, and realized that there's only two cylinders, and it wasn't the bike that I really wanted. What I wanted was a four cylinder, um, a 600 of something, and this one only had 2,000 miles on it, and it currently doesn't have 2,000 miles on it anymore, but we gotta get back. We gotta go back to the past so then we can talk about the future. I gotta run out for a little bit and I don't have a lock currently on my garage. On my way home, stopped, got a lock. But now I have homeowner's insurance, so if this bike goes missing, even due to my negligence of not putting a lock on it, maybe they cover it? I don't know, I'm new to this whole homeowner's thing. All right, this is our current garage lock, and if I'm not mistaken, if I were to rob this place, all I would need is this thing. I'm thinking. I'm thinking if I just take these screws off, couldn't I just get into the garage like that? Thank goodness that you can't get in if you were to just bring a flathead. I don't think the key came with this place, so I just got, I just have to put a new one in. That thing above me is tedious. I've done some drilling. Of course, the new one doesn't match the old one exactly, and uh, I'm gonna send it though. Basically, if I shut the door and this doesn't work, I'm locked out because this door is boarded up. that lock keeps my bike, my pool, and that awesome TV safe. That guy 
guy must have done something seriously wrong to have that cop want to get out of his car in this weather. Well, it's time to go to the DMV again. This will be my third time going to two different DMVs. The first two times, wait was extraordinary. And that right there might be the result of not going to the DMV. So we got to put in our time now. At least there's something cool at the DMV. Okay, so I'm like an hour earlier than I was the other time I came here, and there's like nobody here, so that's good. Of course, with 3D machines, the third time's the charm. The DMV gave us a license plate. Now this thing's on the road. Now I've actually been riding it for a while because this video was filmed a while ago as you guys probably know. The bike had a thousand less miles than what it has right now because I think when I purchased it, it had about 97 miles on this tack and I had, you know, do the math on that. I didn't re I I think I reset that. So I actually put 1100 miles on that. So whatever information you can gather there, there was 1100 less miles than 3200. There must be something in the city water, I apologize. I have yet to do any work on the bike. What I would lo love to do, as you can see right here, there's gas stains on it. It leaks here, so I need to fix that. If any of you guys own Suzuki's and have had this problem or other bikes and have had this problem, if you could please let me know in the comment section below, I would really appreciate it. Also, I haven't changed the oil. The guy said he changed the oil last year and he only put like 97 miles on it. Like, like I said, the bike had zero miles, so it had 2,000. So it, even if they change the oil at any time, it's still good oil. Sure, we could start talking about viscosity and stuff like that, but we're not worried about it. The rims are in really, really good shape. They're dirty after I've ridden it. It definitely does not look as good as it did prior in this video. The exhaust needs some paint, but other than the paint there and the gas stains there, the only other thing it needs is a little bit more power, and I think that could be achieved very easily. For me, I just pull these things off the shelf, but if you want some power, go to machineworks.com, get yourself dialed in. While I was cleaning my bike, there's this truck that just randomly pulls up like by my house. This is the worst review I've ever seen. Check that out. He's hauling around a vehicle. That's, that's pretty bad, but check out the decals. It definitely added a little bit of finesse in there, and I really like it. I think maybe we need a big 3DM right here. So there you have it. There's the mystery bike that hasn't been in any of the videos since April. You guys finally get to see it. The Gator's moving forward, and as you guys know, I'm uploading on Thursdays as well now. Look forward to that upload. Hopefully the exhaust system comes in on time. I had to, I had to get like express shipping, so hopefully it'll be here. This is live, so I'm not sure. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. If you wanna spice up something, go to machinemerch.com. I'd appreciate it. Until next time, 3D Machines out.